Many tears. Can you do this for me? But this morning you thought you were biting off. Don't recall what I thought. Might as well get this said. We have a problem. Never had much else. Augustine is Gus's daughter. She got to be taken care of proper. We owe that to Gus. Now, you're going to see to it. And so am I. Knowing you, Woodrow, you're going to have to chew on this a while, so I'll be waiting. I believe I'll go on if you're standing up. Vega. Christina Vega. Serena Vega was your mother. Yes. The woman you killed. She stepped out in front of a bandit should have died. She saved her brother's life. A man who robbed, burned, murdered both sides of the border, even his own people. I did nothing that night wouldn't do again. Well, he would have. Where was my father that night? Back in Bravo, fighting the fever from a bullet your bandit uncle put in him three days before. Did he talk about my mother to you? Ever? He did, as I recall. What did he say? Many things. And that he felt love for her. Hello, old Gus said he loved someone every other week. I have to say he meant at that time, though. Didn't talk to me over a year. After I told him, she stopped a bullet from my coat. My uncle told me that he wrecked her. Augustina. We'll give you that name. all you need to know, don't it? Didn't know. Didn't know about me. If you had, we'd have met a long time ago. been here over a year and they're still sleeping on the floor. Got a roof? Something to keep the wind off of? Sort of. It's deplorable. Well, you can be certain of one thing, Clara. What's that? 
I'm damn sure going to see you get a bed. I just thought you should know. I got me a new partner, which is the daughter of Augustus McCray. That's fine. That's just fine. Well, that's it then. Well, I swear. <laughs> I suppose you'd be leaving too. How long you figure it'd take to build a house? I had a house. Till you turn this place into a home for widows and orphans. I mean a real house like the one Claire had. We got good hands here now. Lots of mouths to feed is what we got. Gotta admit that music's soothing. I don't admit that, and you don't want me to neither. Why's that? I did the argument be over. And might even get some sleep. No. No, not here. You belong with the women in the house. Warm in the house. Get on down there. Go on. of yourself. How many stars is up there? You start counting. Better dang well beat yourself. I 
I'd say I'm all right. I'd hardly move north. Who? Jackie Jackson. Killer from the Indian nations. What about our cows? We got more cows, Newt. You men mean a hell of a lot more to me. Come on. Got to get these two back to headquarters. Keep going. You may be a harder judge than I am. You want me to back off from what we just saw? I don't think you want me running anything around here. You want justice. So do I. But it's got to be regulated. When the governor hears there's an outlaw or a savage as the man we just seen on the run, then he'll have to back my idea for a militia. And we'll get the order that we need. Where I come from, we did our own regulating. I'm trying to get you to think a little broader than that. We got to set rules for our entire territory right here. Don't you see we could have chased those men down and strung them up to a tree? But what about the next rustling? The one after that, hmm? And so on, hey? We've got to use this situation to set a precedent that will not be forgotten in my lifetime. Maybe not even in yours. Don't you understand that, you? I'm trying to. You're a good man. You're a good man! Hold on, Tim! Hold on, Tim! <laughs> Just as good as the men, Daddy. Sure does. Maybe better if you ask me. Respect for him, too. Respect for a horse? No. Oh. You want a horse to be gentle, you be gentle. Want a horse to be confident, you got to be confident. Horses like the rider that sits on it. Nervous rider, don't know what to say. Horses don't talk, Dad. What's all they do? You sneak out real late at night. Don't let the horses know you're coming. We hear them having whole conversations. They be talking, <laughs> arguing amongst each other. It's true. I knew a horse once <clears throat> used to write poetry. <laughs> yeah. Couldn't spell word the hoot. But the words, they all rhymed out nice and even, though. Oh, Dad, you're joking. Us. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, July. You want to try the next one? 
you know something about this one I don't want to find out? Uh-uh. <laughs> Got it. Hey, compadre. Bring cloud watcher down here. <laughs> Ready for these? Well, I better be. You can come up here for a free ride. Can't we keep his head down where it belongs? Good luck. He's got something to prove. Especially after the way he's seen you ride. Seems we've brought a plague upon ourselves. It used to be a few hungry Indians running off our stock. Now it's outlaws driving them all the way up into the Missouri breaks, locking out their brands and selling them for themselves in Canada. And what's even worse, homesteaders, which in my book stands for rustless. People with a dozen head one year and a hundred head the next. There's some mighty busy cows there. <laughs> or some mighty busy men. Now then, I had three dozen head of cattle stolen yesterday, and two good horns took bullets in the exchange. I'm getting heartily tired of this gentleman. It's time we took action. Now then, you should all have a copy of this list here. They want you all to look very carefully at every single name on it. I don't see that hat, Creek Honcho, on this list. Woodrow Cowell is no rustler, gentlemen. Well, he ain't here. Why ain't he on this list? Cowell's a Texas Ranger. Hmm? Or he used to be. Sure, we've had our differences, but I am confident that when the time comes, he will ride with us. It's just that he's a very self-sufficient man. Everything's under control. What about Captain Call? You can't be serious about leaving him off that list. What's at stake here is far more important than one mine. Hmm. You said that no one would be independent of whatever actions we take. Precisely. But when these actions take place, every independent, including Captain Cal, will come under our protection. And they'll soon see that without that protection, they will not be able to survive. And when Montana becomes an independent state, then the Alliance will be able to control the price of beef, its distribution through the new railway lines, and the people in office. Gentlemen, to the Alliance. The Alliance. Aye. Women are funny creatures, Woodrow. You bring them the breadth of the country on the back of a horse, and when they get there, they expect to sleep on a mattress at night, not a cold dirt floor. That's what you're going to town for, mattresses? 
I'm going to order a mattress and sundry other things people need when they establish a home. Well, if you're buying a mattress, that's your business. Better not show up on any Hat Creek account. Don't get too close to no dress shops, neither, while you're there. Don't want to lose you. I can't leave this outfit now. Someone's got to be here what has a feeling for women. Hey. 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 Work loves you. Yeah. A terrible thing how some people take to liking each other, isn't it, Woodruff? You getting at something? Nope. Woodrow, I want to set something straight. Hurry, Minnie Tear. I know Gus was mostly to blame for you leaving Newt. You having to haul him all the way back to Texas is what done it. I reckon we can always find someone dead to blame things on. It was Gus made you leave when you did. If you'd have been there, Newt wouldn't have gotten into trouble. If I was here, Newt wouldn't have been put to the test. The test seems to have failed. You were fair with Gus's girl. And it pleases me so that you were. As if Gus was reaching back from the grave to clean up some of the mess he made. It weren't your fault alone. Gus just ain't around to blame. And in the pain of losing him, I suppose I held only to his finer qualities. I appreciate your hostilities as subdued. Get some candy? <laughs> Don't you eat too much. You get big and fat like me. You don't want to be fat like Cholo. You take care of my girls now. Ride back. Ask someone to come along town with us. Agostina? Go right ahead, July. High time you get your nerve up. Martin here would like to change places with you. Do I get a say in the matter? What would you say? I'm afraid of men like you. Afraid? Why's that? Some men just scare a woman. That can't be a good thing. It might be. I've never been sure. Maybe we should find out. 
<laughs> it's been a long time since a new man made me laugh. Done. That done. We get the pickings? Be quick. <laughs> Ride. They're coming. 
coming in. Pretty good. I assume the hardest part is over. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Captain! Captain! Here's an ambush. I'll be the blitzer. Where are they? They're all ambushed in the canyon. Boy, get on the man up. and whoever cut him down. You got a piece of him, though. Blood trail lead this way. P? Captain. Tell the boys. Lieutenant Clara. We'll go on. We ain't gonna lose this sunbitch. Finish this for you, Roger Walker. Don't get 
get thrown in the pudding now. I'll throw that sack over his head. All right. Who's new? What is it? Mr. Duncan, what's you up to have? I need a fresh horse. Frank, man needs a horse. Tend to that one. What happened? Outlaws. Time's come, Newt. Do you know who done it? Same mom we think shot two of our own. I want this whole outfit armed and ready for a week's ride in 30 minutes. Where are we headed? To put a stop to what's already out of hand. 30 minutes. Yes, sir. such a thing. Can't just be rustlers or thieves. Can't. Vultures. Paint horse. He is. This far north? That's him, Captain. Son of a bitch killed my brother. If you get into those hills, you can hold us off. I need me an extra horse. I only got one. Therapy. Is that him, Captain? Cherokee Jack? I believe so.
He had that on him. Money. But the kids from their uncle Isaac. Nah, no, can't. It's blood money. Ended now. When I hear what I want, we will. from all the ranches of the Alliance. They look like an army. That's right. Cherokee Jack. Supposed to say a message to the women. Mama? She's 
Sí, papá. Says, get the women and children to the fort. You're to go quickly. Well, where's us? With the captain. He's going to help stop the Dunnigan outfit. We sent for help from them homesteaders. What about Cherokee Jackson? He's going to help him. Billy, fetch my shotgun. Are you sure the governor's gonna stand behind you on this? If those are our cattle behind those fences, he will. Looking for water, Rob. I'm Rob. I'm Greg Altanigan. I know you. I hear you've been selling my cattle. Well, that's a lie. Well, in that case, you wouldn't mind us looking over your stuff, would you, mister? That one's ours. That one, too. Well, that can't be. I've never seen that animal before. You know the penalty for stealing cattle, don't you? But I ain't done nothing. Put down the gun. He's just a boy.
Through the pass. You boys stay here. Nice. places any make a stand you bet they're coming let's right. gather up yes, I'm riding out to them Something happens to me. They keep on this way. Wait till the main body gets full over the ridge before you throw your dynamite. Otherwise, you just warn them and lose them. When it blows, there'll be some confusion. Snap off a few quick ones. Then ride away if you can. The other ranchers come to you, join with them. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck. Good to you, Captain. Captain. Yeah. I'll ride with you. No, P. You stay by these men. Yes, sir. If I get killed, just stuff my body in the old place. That'll do. As far as you go, Dunnigan. How's that? The killer, name of Cherokee Jack, said you paid him to gun down my people. That's a dumb lie. Said this is what you give him to do it. I can't abide you, Dunnigan. Murdering just to get more grass. That's a hell of a sorry thing. You don't know what sorry is yet, mister. I think I do. And I hold you responsible. Quite frankly, what you think doesn't matter anymore. Now you get out of my way. I'm going to count to three. You don't drop that shooter in the dirt, I'll put a hole in your heart. <laughs> what about all these men? Cut off the head. Rest don't rattle long. You're a fool. One. Neat. He's lying to you, boy. The captain, don't lie. You mean I do? Yes, sir. That's your money pouch. I remember. 
I'll kill you myself if I have to. Two. Hey. I got some information in here. Take a look. Captain! Drop your guns. They got to pay for what they done. Mr. Tompkins, if you want law and order, it's gonna have to start with you. You can't possibly think that it's... One. Surely you can't imagine... Two. If we surrender, we demand a proper trial. You'll get your trial. Tell the others it's over. unto me, O God, be merciful unto me, for my soul trusteth in thee. Yea, in the shadow of thy wings will I make my refuge until these calamities be overpassed. Amen. 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 Talk to Cholo and the girls. And we're going back to Ogallala. Uh, you are welcome to stay. I feel welcome, I do. But the, the little I've learned in my life has been from heartless. You can't run away from the ashes. You have to rebuild from the ashes. Will you wait for first folds? Well, the same to you. We want to beat the frost. I'll see to it, P.I. and some of the boys. Get you all the way safe back.
patrón. Va con Dios, patrón. You still don't want to talk. Kind of have to give him that, Newt. Man just leaning on as hard as Captain Call. Leaves him some time alone. I suppose. As long as I've known Woodrow Call, he's been in charge. Think about all them questions been put to him in his lifetime. All them problems other folks bring to him. <laughs> Wonder he won't leave Texas. What happens as soon as he gets up here? No problem. Does everybody look up to? Is it people that bring him problems, Ison? Or him looking to take them on? Can't say it doesn't matter as much, really. As long as he handles them. One problem at a time. I need to tell you, when I was uh, riding back from the canyon, mm -hmm. <clears throat> I wanted to ask you to go to town, uh, you know, with us. And oh, then that shooting started. And July. Us. With us. With uh, me. Yeah, <laughs> with me. <laughs> you went against him. I had to. Why? Did you ever know his plans? Really? That alliance? Did you? I shoulda. I know what he told me. I just never added up to what he did. I just could never figure that. Never. Well, he was good to me. I never tried to picture anything else. Will you be staying here? Yes. You won't take what he offered you, will you? I don't think he'd want that offer to stand the way things turned out. It stands. No. Goodbye. Go to hell, New Dobbs.
you looking for somebody? Found him. Get things said? What could be? We said some hard words between us. Yes, sir. I regret that. Me too. Some things didn't get said to. Well, that's over now. No, it ain't. Your mother, Maggie. Gus, you said I let her down. Never cared to admit that. Well, that was a long time ago, Captain. Not for me. I'm so sorry to have never known her. It wasn't about you, Newt. It was me, how I felt about myself, my failings. You picked a good spot, Captain. Well, there's a bunch of work to do. Seems you might know horses almost good as me now. Captain, I'm moving on. This is your dream. Ain't no reason it can't be your dream, too. It's the same reason you couldn't live a life you didn't decide on by yourself. I understand that now. I'd be obliged if you tell P.I. and the boys thanks for all they done. Don't want a big goodbye. It's time, Captain. I reckon. mother's name. Call. That's Scots, so they tell me. It's had no dishonor I'm aware of. Steady work and steady wages. Civilized world of yours, Captain. We ain't part of it. What about that poor Maggie you throwed that child with? What was his name? Newt, wasn't it? St. Jake's my paw, Captain. 
Well, I'd a hell of a lot rather it was Jake than you. Because Jake knew people can make mistakes. Like my mama the day she made me. Bob Wilde draws a nasty line, mister. Sense of honor that guys never do. Don't again. Give him that. Can't run away from the ashes. You have to rebuild from the ashes.